smartest scientists, but baffled over one question. What makes a brain dumb? Although we may never have the answer, what the world's finally beginning to understand, even those clearly unsuitable for almost any job on earth, can still find a place where they belong. We'd like to introduce you to a friend, a friend so shockingly dumb that he had lost hundreds of jobs before ever finishing a first day. Me, Mr. Dunce, from the town of Duvin. Yes, folks, the M and the B are silent. Blessed with a heart of gold, Mr. Dunce was beyond dumb. Trust me, folks. I've met him. Mr. Dunn spent most of his childhood of the belief that his mother was the handmade straw broom well past its prime. His father, a dodo bird, sold the broom for 50 cents at a yard sale, ripping away the only mother he'd ever known. He may not know much of anything else, but armed with the knowledge that he ain't got a chance in hell, a man in yellow came barreling through and defy the odds. Welcome to this new web series, where we will follow Mr. Dunce. Welcome to the world of Still Jumpy. Get churned. Yeah, uh -huh. you know what it is. Everything I do, yeah, I do it big. Yeah, uh -huh. screaming that's that's that. When I pulled up the lot, lot that's that. Skip right from my town, when you see me, you know everything. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I put it down from the whip to my diamonds. I'm in black and yellow.
Ah, uh, Mr. Dunce. Here for your first day, I presume. Now, Mr. Dunce, your only job is to sweep and mop in the right places. No engine work. Uh, that taco over there, yeah, that's mine, by the way. Just sweep and mop. That's it. Nothing else. Just sweep and mop. Oh, ugh. Here you go, ma'am. We should have your car in about 30 minutes. Well, thank you. What are you doing? I told you to sweep and mop the floors. To not, not touch the engine, the ceiling, the side of the wall. To sweep and mop the floors. Mr. Dunce, mopping and sweeping the, <laughs> the... I can't believe it, I'm still not wearing my work shirt. Mr. Dunce! Hey man, I'm going to lunch, just don't burn down the place. And my taco better still be there. Oh man, it's been a long shift. No kid, man. Where do you want to eat? kind of sweeping do you not understand? Oh my god! My car! <laughs> Last month it was my radiator. This month is my engine. Do you know how much this is gonna cost me? Sorry boss, that's all you. I'm, I'm out of here, man. It, it's not me, it's, it's this dumb stuff. I don't I... care who it is, I'm suing you. Oh my god. I can't believe what just happened there. I. I forgot to wear my work shirt. Oh! You're not getting away from this one. You blew up her motor! I've been trying to get with that girl for ages! And I don't know who it was, but now my taco is gone! I don't ever want to see your face again. You're dumber than a box of rocks! Get out! You're fired, Mr. Dunce! Mr. Dunce, is that you? This is the boss man. Uh, I'm sorry about what just happened. I, I feel really bad. I, I know this guy. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he works at a gas station. He can probably get you a job behind the counter. Okay, um... If you're gonna talk, then all right, bye. Oh my god! I'm still not wearing my work shirt! They ventured out one early morn for to check the view. Wandered up them city gates, opposite of blue. Now Mr. Dunce is clumsy, all with extra time to fill. He tripped over a dandelion, rolled down that thorny hill. By the time he found his feet, he was standing in Duville. This man, he's got a plan, though folks may call him Dunce. Ain't sure what it is each day, hope he'll succeed for once. If here in this you feel less wise, brain's lost capacity. Don't you whine, you'll take a shine to our show's too dumb